no. On this lovely day, I'm going to be installing an electric wire along the top of this four foot fence in preparation for a horse. There are three components to this electric fence. There's the energizer, which ours is battery powered, but has a solar panel as well. The second component is the wire itself. And then the last component is the insulators, which hold the electric wire. For our fence, we have three types of insulators. For our wooden posts, we are going to use split ball screw-in insulators. And those are gonna screw into the sides of our wooden posts and basically act like belt loops that are gonna hold the electric wire up. The next insulator is the rotating corner post insulator, and this obviously is gonna go on our corner posts. The rope will actually move along the pulleys, which will give me a nice firm tension. And lastly, we have two ring insulators. Two because one is used at the beginning and at the end. And this is what the rope will be tied off to. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go down the line of fence posts here and drill some pilot holes just to make it easier to put the insulators in. So as I was going down the line, I think one of the sheep bumped into the tripod and that is disappointing. Ay, ay, ay. So all it took was some um, compressed air, rubbing alcohol, two dips, toothpick. Let's see how it works. All right, it's looking pretty good. The lens seems fine. All right, so we're back up and running with the camera. That was horrific. Ugh. This project obviously did not get off on the right start. Oh no. <laughs> it seems like whenever you're videoing something bad happens. <laughs> Left the gate open. That's becoming a theme in these videos. <laughs> Right, it's just such a yucky day. It's already time to do the evening chores. Probably gonna call it quits and just start fresh tomorrow. So this is almost like a, like a do-over today. The goal for today is to finish putting the insulators on the posts around the fence and to try and get the wire hung. Hopefully there'll be no mistakes. Done. I have five extra insulators here. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just guessing how many we needed. I was just guessing. You're on camera. Do you want to say anything? Oh, um, <laughs> no. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. We just talk for hours and hours and hours. Now it's time to hang the wire which is the part I'm kind of most unsure about. So I might check out a couple tutorials first. I was doing research, but then I saw a video on a snake climbing an electric fence and getting zapped. If you don't absolutely have to get on YouTube, don't get on YouTube. 
For the actual fence, we're using this black and white six millimeter rope, which contains three bi-metallic strands. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to hang this piece. I believe this is called a P-spring. This part here is going to hook onto our ring insulator here, the very beginning of the fence. If the horse pushes against the rope or if something falls on the rope, it won't just yank out our insulators here. That this spring will actually take some of that tension off the insulator. That right there was just beautifully described. I'm just gonna keep the camera nice and close here because this can just kind of slide in there I said it could slide in there. There we go. Nice and sturdy. So the next part is to tie our rope to the end of that piece right there. I'm not a knot guy. I'm not that kind of guy that can just whip out any knot. I have the courage to admit that. Fortunately, I don't think we need any kind of special knot here because we have, it's a simple little coil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop the rope through here, back on itself, and then I'm just gonna twist the rope around this and it's going to link the two pieces of rope. So it's no surprise that this piece here is called a rope link. I'm just gonna pass this through there. I'm gonna make sure I have enough length and then I'm gonna take my rope link. And just start wrapping it around the metal. Now I'm gonna let go of the loose end and just pull on the rope and see what happens. That actually works surprisingly well. Look at that. The rope is not sliding at all. It works. This is the part where some guys would start saying, eh, this is just a simple half double upside down hitch. That right there is just a double knot. You just knot it, knot it again. Not nothing to worry about there with that double knot. Running the rope through the rotating corner insulator pretty self-explanatory there. And you can kind of see here why this rotating pulley insulator is handy, because that's the end right there. If this gets pulled, the rope can easily navigate this corner post with the help of that pulley. Things are coming together. Now I'm gonna show how to hang the rope on a split ball insulator. Here I have my rope, and it's pretty self-explanatory. The rope just kind of follows the grooves of the insulator straight down and right through. So here you can see the rope can easily go through the split ball insulator. I left the gate open again! Hey, 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 come here, come here. Hey, 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 come back. One day I'll learn. Now I'm gonna work my way down the line, hang in my rope. Got my rope link to tie off the end of the fence. Yeah, see there, see, see, this here rope link is a fantastic tool. Yes. I'm just gonna pull our rope through here. Give myself enough. Well, I guess I should tighten it here, right? What happens if I pull? It's definitely holding. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put our rope link on and then just see how it looks down the line. 
This is definitely much harder with tension on it. Don't worry, no electric charge yet. This is so easy. Got it. Okay, here we go. It appears to be holding the tension just fine. So I'm gonna walk back down the line and see what it's like. I'd say this looks pretty good. I'm gonna check the corner posts. So I just kind of push the rope back on the wheel there. If I apply tension on the rope, the rope easily slides. That is cool. Back here at the beginning of the fence, you can see our spring is taking some tension. It seems to be doing its job. So the rope is all hung and tied off and the sun is shining bright as if to say, job well done. It's getting a little warm out here. Took my coat off and I realized the one thing I forgot was deodorant. Here is our energizer. It has a solar panel and an internal battery inside here. So it'll recharge itself and on cloudy or rainy days, it can run off the battery. I just got out our energizer and clipped it to the rope and turned it on and was getting a pretty good charge. I wanted to make sure it was working before I go ahead and cut this end of the wire. That does it. I love you. I'm honestly very happy <laughs> that worked. I'm just noticing I may have left a hose running. Uh, I did. Uh, in this moment of joy, that's life for you. Back to the fence. I'm super happy with how this came out. I particularly enjoyed hanging the rope around the pasture. Very satisfying to hang that rope. That's it for this video. Our electric fence is ready for the horse. Thank you for watching and remember to be content.